The urban heat island effect impacts health through making heat waves more intense, more frequent and longer lasting. This is due to the fact that urban areas have surfaces which increase temperatures a further two to five degrees on average. And in some cases it can be as high as 10 degrees. Sydney is home to over 4.8 million people and over the next 20 years, urban expansion is going to significantly increase. Urban areas further from the coast and areas with more sparse vegetation are at the greatest risk of uh, increasing temperatures caused by the urban heat island effect. Western Sydney is particularly impacted in places like Blacktown, Camden, Liverpool and even here in Parramatta. By 2036 we're expecting that 11% of Sydney will have significant changes to their land uses. Changes in land use have the potential to more than double the increases that will be caused by climate change. The greatest potential for heat increases will be in areas that go from rural areas to medium density housing. In Sydney CBD, as it develops in the future and increases in density, we're surprisingly seeing a slight decrease in temperature. And this could be due to cooling sea breezes or an increase in building heights. Groups are actively looking at ways to reduce temperature through using green spaces and increasing these green spaces. Green spaces include trees, grasses and even water features to help reduce temperatures. This study can help policymakers make informed decisions about heat reducing strategies in urban areas.